Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? It is Friday, yes, and we just had the jobs report a couple hours ago, so let's go over that. I sent out an email to MMT Trader subscribers, as I always do prior to these monthly um, jobs reports, where I give my breakdown and forecast for the payroll number. Now, as you know, uh, the consensus outlook was for an increase of 190,000. Yesterday, we got a very strong ADP payroll number of 250,000, way above the expectation there. But I said in my email, we were going to get a weaker than expected report. My forecast was for 180. It was actually 148, but the important thing was I said it was going to be weaker, and I said that would be bearish for the dollar, bullish for gold, bullish for oil, bullish for treasuries, bullish for stocks. It's pretty much how it worked out. We got a nice um, sell-off in the dollar initially. Gold popped up. It gave back some um, treasuries. Stocks are up. The only thing I guess that, that hasn't followed through is oil, but that's still in a very strong bullish uptrend. By the way, speaking of oil, all right, on this, uh, the most recent leg of this rally, we are in from $51 a barrel, and it's up to almost 62 Well, it hit, it got over 62 yesterday. It's pulled back a little bit today. So very nice profit there in oil. Um, what else? Some individual stocks. Let me give you some individual stocks that we uh, are in. Uh, Valero Energy, VLO, which we started buying, uh, I think it was last July at 66. That's up to 94. Nice profit on that one, okay? Recent purchase of CVS at 68. That is up to 78. All right, pretty short uh, period of time. DR Horton, the home builder, which we bought at 27 and change, is up to 52. Um... Seagate, if I can recall that one. Seagate, I believe we got in there at 36. It is up to 44, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, 42, 44, something like that. That was a recent acquisition. So some really good uh, performers in, in the stock selection and others. All of these are in MMT Trader Report. And if you want to get a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader, go to my website, Pitbull Economics. Dot com and sign up for a 30-day no obligation free trial to MMT Trader. You can check out all the back issues uh, going back for um, two years, okay? Now, let's talk a little bit about the markets here. Um, all right, a lot of people now are, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but I, I see more and more people coming around to the outlook, which I have been talking about for a fairly long period of time. That is rising inflation, a weaker dollar, rising commodity prices, rising interest rates. Uh, I am starting to see more and more commentary and articles that are pointing to these trends. And, you know, I was the first. MMT Trader was the first. And what's interesting is that a lot of the commentary and a lot of the articles that I read, they just don't have the, the understanding. It's kind of like it's a guess for them and they see the trend happening and they're like, oh yeah, that's happening now. But they don't have the understanding. They don't uh, understand what is driving that. All right, And I've explained it many times. This, this started back in 2015 when the Fed reversed policy, started hiking interest rates. Interest rates are price increases. I've always told you to, to, to think about rate adjustments as price adjustments. In addition to that, we have fiscal expansion, which was happening and which is now accelerated by the tax cuts that were passed. Okay. Um, so all that stuff going on, rising oil prices, et cetera. You know, we've had a, a tremendous, tremendous drawdown in crude oil inventories. And we also have very strong demand in products. A lot of things going on in, in the petroleum markets, right? So we have all that going on. The dollar, and I've spoken about this many times, all of you out there, at least all of you who are not MMT Trader subscribers, you all thought higher interest rates were going to be bullish for the dollar. You always think that. You always think it's going to be bearish for, the, for gold. 
You are wrong. You have always been wrong. You do not understand how the monetary system functions. You do not understand how um, rate hikes are inflationary. They do not squash inflation. They are price increases. And it is, it is foolish to believe, it is silly to believe that uh, inflation is reflected as a higher exchange value for the currency. I mean, inflation literally means your money buys less. So why would it uh, garner a higher foreign exchange value wouldn't, simply would not. Not to mention the fact that rate hikes are fiscal expansions for reasons I've explained here a zillion times. All this stuff, folks, is in MMT Trader, which comes out every week. If you want to get a 30-day free trial, go to pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial. All right, folks, that's it for now. I sent out another email, uh, interesting one, I think, uh, about the um, current sentiment in stocks. You got to read that. By the way, if you sign up for that 30-day free trial, I will send you today's emails. Uh, already sent out a bunch of them. Yesterday, I sent out a whole bunch of them. Um, and uh, maybe I'll be back later. See you later, guys. Bye.